What's up, YouTube? Anger Jackal up here, Rob Ricks. Um, so, a lot of good new TV shows popping off. We got Blindside. Oh my lord, that, that fucking show is just looking phenomenal. That's one where Chick uh, ends up delivered in Central... What is it? Times Square. Not Central Square. Times Square in a big bag and she's covered with tattoos. And these tattoos are kind of... Uh, little sneaks of some major crimes or something else that's going to pop up. Come to find out she's former, you know, like black ops, special forces, some bullshit, right? But uh, looks really, really interesting uh, and intriguing. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, female version of Blacklist without the knowledge of what it is that she's doing. So Blacklist is still a good show I really enjoy. But um, Blind Spot looks to be something very interesting. Another show that I was able to watch recently is Lucifer. Now, Lucifer is a show where the devil has left hell and is now walking earth, and he's kind of doing good deeds. And I'm a little perplexed by this because, you know, uh, the archetype of the devil, you know, he's supposed to be this really sinister, sneaky, soul-snatching kind of cocksucker, right? But here they're painting the devil as this kind of benevolent force. And this is going to be interesting to see what they try to do with that because I'm kind of like, hmm. Interesting. Uh, another one I just re uh, watched recently was Heroes. Uh, Re Reborn? Heroes something. The new Heroes. Um, and it had episode one and episode two. And I started watching that. And that's pretty entertaining. And it's got some... Uh, it's got enough hooks in there that I think I'll be watching it all the way through. I'm not quite sure how I feel about the characters yet. Uh, some of it was kind of... Mm, but for the most part, uh, I definitely will continue watching it. Uh, I finished watching all of Mr. Robot. That was phenomenal. I fucking loved it front to back. Slowed down a little bit at the end, but the reveals and stuff that happened there were very interesting. And it left a couple of nice little hooks for a season two, which I hope there will be a season two. Uh, Fear of the Walking Dead, you guys know I'm doing in-depth reviews on that. I've been enjoying it thus far. That's a six-episode little... Uh, opening, I guess, and I'm not quite sure what they're going to do for season two, but it did get greenlit for season two, so we'll see what's up with that. Um, and you know, I've been really enjoying uh, so many shows. The other one that just popped out was Limitless. Now, Limitless is kind of picks up where the movie Bradley Cooper's movie leaves off, and it's it's that one is done very very well, and I'm enjoying that. Uh, immensely. And the last one I'm going to talk about is Minority Report. That's another one that takes place after the movie is done and one of the twins is basically trying to solve crimes and um, using his limited precog ability. So there you go. There's uh, quite a few new shows that are popping off that I'm very interested in finish watching. Um, and yeah, I think, uh, I think it's going to be a very fun season with a bunch of new shows. We'll see if they make the cutting room floor or see if they make the, make the cut, I should say, and uh, go from there. So is there any shows you guys are watching that's not on that list that I should be checking out and keeping an eye on? Chime in. Put it down in the comments below and I'll check it out and see what's what. Um, I know there's Sense8. Sense8. <coughs> I'm not finished with that. I started with it, but I just haven't had time to finish with it. Um, I got one user's asked me to take a look at, and I will. But is there anything else? All right, let me know. All right, guys, until next time, please be good to each other.